Hi guys, welcome back to the Enemy Multi Universe. Today we're back at Chainsaw Man, um, the animation episode number four. Um, straight up, um, a good episode. I will say Chainsaw Man has been um, quite enjoyable. I've been enjoying all the episodes. Um, the quality of the episodes, it's just consistent, you know. Um, the mixture between the comedy, the action, um, as well as, you know, the the law of the storyline to find out what's going on has been quite enjoyable okay so the first scene we get is um we get some sort of flashback of powers we get to see her live out her life in the forest you know we get to see her slay a couple of animals we've got a, a cow as well as a bear you know which for me adds to the law of what is power uh, what is powers powers essentially you know where does she get them you know we even get a monologue of her saying she loves blood. Um, it makes her feel warm inside, um, which speaks to her use of powers, you know, like the, her ability to essentially use, you know, blood as a weapon, right? And then we get to see an internal struggle where she's talking about how, you know, she loves a cat and why can't she kill it similar to any other, you know, animal. I think it speaks to that internal struggle she has with loving something you know because powers comes across as a a beast a demon she just kills you know um and then all of a sudden she wakes up and then she sees denji and then she asks him dude why did you save me you know despite me trying to kill you why did you try and save me and then denji says <laughs> my boy points at the goods he says uh -uh, we had a deal and i intend on collecting and then, of course, our uh, power says, no, go ahead, dude. And then my boy starts to celebrate. Then out of nowhere, his hands gets torn into two, okay? Then we get this ugly as demon appear out of nowhere. The damn demon has a, even has like a hairstyle. Huh? Where do these guys even get these designs, you know? Uh, that demon starts saying, um, you know, uh, Denji essentially killed um, her boyfriend, um, she wants revenge and so forth, right? Denji tries to go demon mode. I mean, devil mode. Um, he tries to change into Chainsaw Man, but he can't. Apparently, I think he's tired now or he needs, you know, a refuel. He needs to drink some blood. That's how, you know, these devils in the, in the series have been recharging. And a fight starts ensuing. Then we've got Denji and the demon going back and forward. My boy, my boy is holding his own. But um, that devil is proving to be strong, especially since Denji doesn't have access to his full powers, right? Then as power is sitting there, she, she's just thinking to herself, damn, this dude is fighting this much for, for some fondling, right? And, and I'll tell you now, ladies, if you didn't know the lengths men will go to <laughs> for some action, <laughs> you, you guys don't have no idea, okay? And my boy Denji goes on a whole um monologue about okay let's have a fight of our dreams okay we'll see who has the better dream and i can tell you now he says i can tell you now my dream of fondling some buoys is gonna come out superior <laughs> uh, my boy has lost it right then he's fighting the fighting tooth and nail i mean denji is trying his best but he's getting his ass handed to him right um and then that devil fortunately um, unfortunately manages to to capture denji right um with her tongue and then out of nowhere out of nowhere dog my boy aki shows up and all i heard was kong and then this biggest fox appears out of nowhere straight up tears through the the neck of that demon holding denji and then frees him and then that fox the uh, devil says should it devour that demon and Aki says, yes, right? Coolest power. Um, I love the design of the fox. It seems to have like a third eye, um, like some renegade from Naruto, you know, the design of the eyes of the fox. Quite cool. A cool power for, you know, for Aki. And then, of course, um, I, I, Denji wakes up in, in hospital, okay? He's, 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 and then there's Aki. Aki says to him, dude, um i've put two and two together i know what happened okay powers betrayed you 
And if I actually tell the agency about this, they're going to dispose of both of you, right? And then he makes a deal with Denji to say, um, you follow my instructions to the T and I won't report you guys, right? And I will say, man, I mean, Akis is showing up to be a stand-up guy, in my opinion. Yes, I know he's got some ulterior motives, but so far, like, his presentation is quite good, you know? And of course, in that scene as well, he explains to Denji his powers that he's made the, he's made a pact with a fox demon, right? He essentially feeds it part of his flesh, and then what that fox does, it consumes part of him, right? And then Aki walks out of the the hospital, uh, the Denji's room, and then he speaks to his coworker to say he will never trust the demon. Um, you know, he'll never be its friend. They are there to be used, right? And it makes me wonder about um, Aki's past. You know, what actually happened? He seems to have some deep-seated hatred for demons. Then he goes back to Makima. He gives a report of the incident. And then he, he changes the story. But I'm telling you now, Makima probably knows that my boy is bullshitting. You know, that lady, something is off with her. Uh, she's too smart. She, she strikes me to be somebody who's too smart to fall for something like that, right? And then we get our last scene. Um, some character building. Aki's back at the apartment. He's doing some laundry. He's making some coffee. Um, you know, it's early in the morning. Then um, Denji comes through to have some breakfast. And then while my boys are chilling, there's a knock at the door. And all of a sudden, it's Powers, right? Powers has moved, is moving in. Then we get a scene where Makima is explaining to Aki that, dude, um, you've got some space. And yeah, I want you to also, you know, take care of Powers, essentially. Um, he's irritated, but <laughs> the funny thing is, dude, Powers is so worse. It's so worse than Denji that she's got Denji irritated. You know, we get a scene whereby um, Powers is essentially saying, she doesn't flush her poop. She doesn't bathe. You know, she's just a straight up animal. And there's this, and there's this perfect scene where you can see the reaction of both Denji and Aki. You know, annoyed as far, <clears throat> annoyed as hell, you know. And yeah, and then we get our icing on the cake, our final scene. Um, Denji's busy cleaning, using a plunger cleaning the toilet. And out of nowhere, um, Powers appears and says, dude, it's time for you to fondle the goods. You get three squeezes. And my boy, my boy was so, oh man, he was the joy. <laughs> he even says she's an angel, right? You know, just that contradiction to call Powers out of everybody an angel. You know, I mean, Powers, you know, is a straight up beast. It's a straight up devil. But yeah, great episode. Great um, humor. Um, the MVP for this episode for me, obviously, was Aki. Um, love that, love the guy, st straight up guy. Um, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please leave a comment um, and let me know what you enjoyed about the episode as well. Um, like the like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Check you guys next time. Thank you.